comic fans. This is Comic Fan with another Humble Haul. In this episode, I bought two short boxes of modern books. Not sure what I was getting into because I'm not really into the modern books. But what I found were some really great uh, variants, homage covers, and um, you know, the run of the mill, eye appealing stuff to the modern viewer. So let's dig into this stuff. I thought I just picked out what, uh, what I found was neat in the share, okay? So I'm not gonna show the whole two boxes, but uh, I'll show you what was the good stuff. Okay, let's start off with the DC. Um, first off, DC's issue number two. Really nice homage cover to uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. That right off the bat, I said, I'm, well, I'm almost in. <laughs> uh, I found some really great uh, number one issues from the Rebirth series. Justice League number one, Batgirl number one, Suicide Squad number one, Flash number one, uh, Supergirl number one, great Adam Hughes work. It's some really great art germ stuff. Uh, Supergirl number 14 and 13. Really nice covers. Okay. And then I found some okay stuff here. Um, Death Metal, Legends of the Dark Knight, uh, number one. Uh, and um, Dark Knight's Death Metal, number three. Uh, First Prince Robin King, and a great uh, favorite cover, cover art. All uh, right, let's move over to this really quick. Uh, Red Hood and Outlaws, number 26. I know this was a hot book uh, a couple weeks back. Uh, at least when it came out. Uh, I got two copies. Really great stuff. And then, oh, a little out of order there, but it's okay. A uh, little bit more number ones of uh, Rebirth. Uh, Birds of Prey, number one. Uh, Teen Titans, number one. And another Justice League, number one. Speaking of Art Germ, I found two more great covers. Um, Catwoman number three, and also uh, Catwoman number five. I found a little sprinkling of some indie books in there, and I'll show some of that also in this. Uh, at the bottom of this pile was uh, Savage Dragon issue number 252. Doesn't go for a whole lot of money, but uh, it, it's definitely eye candy, caught my eye, and it got me a little bit more invested in these. Uh, in these short boxes. Okay, moving on to the Marvel, and I think there's a little bit more indie in this also. Very heavy on the Marvel and, and indie here. Okay, so just start it off. Uh, I look in the box. We have Shang-Chi number one. My dogs. Uh, also, uh, this seemed to be a um, an exclusive from the Comic Mint, limited to a thousand copies. And uh, that, I didn't even see that until later on. I, I went through my boxes again, and flipped it over, there it was. Good Star Wars stuff, not great, but decent. Uh, we got Star Wars, The High Republic, and different printings on this. None of these were, I don't think many of these were first printings. So uh, High Republic, third printing. Uh, number two, second printing. Lost one in there. There we go. There we go. Um, there we go. Oh, yes. Issue number three, first printing. Issue number four. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> first printing. And uh, a couple of others. Uh, another issue of High Republic issue number two. Another cool homage. Uh, homage. Homage cover. Um, this. Empire Strikes Back uh, 40th anniversary cover. That was certainly a, a nice surprise in there, seeing that I'm an original Star Wars fan. So that was a really great eye candy for me. I found a couple of issues of Alex Ross's Timeless covers. The Hulk, Wolverine, <clears throat> Ghost Rider, and Thor. I wish there was a couple more in there, but uh, that was good enough. Still happy. 
this one here now I, I should have just opened up the book and I'm sure those who are in more knowledgeable knowledgeable than me uh, can identify with these and listen in the comments to help me out otherwise I just take it all out and uh, look at the first page or whatnot uh, this was a nice homage cover the Punisher a cool Jim Lee edition of Deadpool uh, well Deadpool cover done by Jim Lee Deadpool number 33 this was actually uh, uh, his rendition of a, of a card, I believe. This is cool. Uh, facsimile cover edition of, um, of Hulk 181. That was cool. Very nice here. Um, Venom number 32, the Aliens versus Venom cover. That was awesome. And for some strange reason, there was some uh, somewhat... Uh, older modern age what have you uh late copper age found this second appearance of beta ray bill not bad but like i said most of it was modern books here's a really nice homage to a modern cover <laughs> miles morales spider-man number 25 and we're all very familiar with what this came from uh, i just didn't think it had to be um redone so quickly this was cool. I've been seeing this around YouTube uh, YouTube issues. A nice little older uh, um, homage to uh, uh, to the old romance covers. Uh, Secret Wars, Secret Love, number one. Got some cool um, Strange Academy, Strange Academy, number one, third printing. Um, for some reason. That looks like TiVo. If you guys don't know who TiVo is, it's kind of striking that TiVo likes Doctor Strange, and yet this looks a lot like him. And then uh, Strange Academy, fourth printing, issue number one. I did see a lot of this, but I'm very happy to see this. this is Deadpool number 13, the uh, Addy Granoff uh, cover. That was cool. Tokyo Ghost number one. Wow. That was nice. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, some fantastic four homage covers. Um, number two variant. Very nice. Another welcome surprise. Spawn number 33. Uh, not 33. It's a 311. Uh, the the uh, tribute to Chadwick Boseman. Another cool stuff here. We've got uh, Daredevil number 25. Second printing and a third printing. Not enough of this. I know a lot of people are talking about Peach uh, Momoko, but this is the only Peach Momoko I found in there. Uh, Blade Runner number, uh, is that issue number one? Yes, issue number one. Um, cover art by Peach Momoko, that was cool. Here's a little Eric Masterson uh, becoming Thor, Thor number 33. This was something I was really excited about uh, for some reason. <laughs> New Agents of Atlas, number one, second printing. And uh, not the thing that would normally top this off because everything else is really nice, but uh, at the end of the pile, we finally have some crossover books, uh, McFarlane cover and Mike Allred cover. Okay, in my book, excuse the pun. Well, that just about does it. Uh, it was a pretty nice stack. I got it for an okay price uh, that everybody was very comfortable with on both ends. And um, I've got tons of more stuff coming in. So I just had to blow this out, put up a video, and let the other stuff roll in. Oh, one more thing, though. There was some really cool stuff that I forgot to mention. I got some straight dog books in those boxes. And I don't know what printing this is, but I know it's the tribute to Brand Stoller's Dracula. Um, this is also uh, a later printing, blank cover. Off the top of my head, I forget which printings. And if you guys help me out without the help of the internet, but in some ways help of YouTube, I can't figure out what uh, tribute to what movie this is. And I know it's right there at the top of my head, and I don't want to look and search for it. You guys figure it out. Leave the message in the comments, please. And then the recent issue of Stray Dogs number five. Now, the reason why I bring these up is not just because it's a, it's a great book, 
but <clears throat> I've been uh, not chosen, selected, I would say chosen because I feel fairly blessed about having this opportunity. Um, I'm going to be meeting at Tony Fleeks and, uh, in about two weeks to do a signing. So I'll, uh, I'm very happy to have these books. Okay, now that's the end of this haul. Um, and I don't know what else to show you, but I think I've shown enough, right? So in the meantime, this is Comic Fan. And as always, happy hunting. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.